Poplar Streets. Your friendly hometown grocers since 1900, the good folks at Friedman's Supermarkets. And again, those Wally Stock out of Ruffsdale, John Flynn with the D11 car from Zealian Opal, and Danny Schwarzlander in the three car from Freeport. Off of turn number four, started Greg Wheeler. All pro late models head for the back stretch. Look at Burgess inside in car number 34. He takes care of the Budweiser cars. Gets a little high up behind Phil O'Donnell. Blackie Watt right underneath the young man out of corner number four. He gets the position back. Blackie faded, then came on strong. And now up in one and two to the back straightaway we go with Waring in command. Blackie Watt riding second with Bobby Burgess, now third and now second. Burgess looks for more out of that fourth quarter. Can't get it done as John Quinter closes in on him with the 11. To the back straightaway one more time. Ford power out front and Bob Waring Jr. Burgess will look to the inside of Waring. John Flinter right there on the spot in third number four. He's got second as they come by the strike. Hard racing for positions one, two, and three. And Flinter now will use that inside line to attack Bob Waring Jr. John Flinter out in front from Zillian Olsen to the D11. Brings Bobby Burgess with him off of corner number four. Waring will slide back to third. final qualifying spot in the number three. John Garvin wants to take it away. Two to go this time around for John Center. Bob Burgess still hanging right there with him. They draw away from wearing just a little bit. All right, John Center now sets it up in corner number four. Greg Wheeling has the white flag extended last time around. Burgess wearing Watt and O'Donnell in that order. Wally Stock makes the charge on John Garvin out of corner number four. But the guy he's got to get is Danny Schwarzlander. That's the final qualifying spot. John Flinner sets him up out of corner number four. He's the win over Bob Burgess as he looks back over his shoulder. Wearing in for third ahead of Blackie Watt and Phil O'Donnell. Final qualifying spot goes to the three of Danny Schwarzlander. So John Flinner takes the first checkered flag of the evening in the D11 race car. Bobby Burgess home for second in car number 34. The Ford powered 70 Schwarzlander. Second all pro late model 82. The Speedway with Keith Zimmerman coming down from up north out of Pleasantville in the T3. Last week's feature winner, Bob Lemley. He is from Mount Norris. Set to go. The drive at corner number four. I don't think so. No, that's not going to work, and the caution is out. straight away into turn number one and two. Waring trying to keep that rear end from coming around. Takes the lead. Zimmerman into second. Barton now goes third. It's a little bit high in corner number four. He's out over the edge. It'll take the second underneath him. He is a conquer number one. Zig and zag, swerve and curve. Barton, look at it. He gets two of them out of that second corner. It is Bob wearing senior in command with Martin riding second. Zimmerman's up high. Saturday night will go by. Bob wearing senior with the quick line. He's a three and four. He sets it 
up now with Barton riding second. 70 of the 79 is third ahead of Lynn Geisler. Todd Jenkins is having come off the turn number four, but he's under power and keeps her going pretty close to straight. Barton is catching Waring as they come out of turn number four. Halfway home. Not normally running very strong on the heavy tracks, but he's getting the job done tonight. The Geisler may have a problem on the suspension on the right rear of the Cochran number one. The right rear corner set pretty low. Up behind the 96 of Jenkins. Waring comes down the front stretch with two to go. Look out, Jenkins. Looking to go the inside, then outside, and he had people guessing. Geisler definitely with a problem on the right rear of the Cochrane number one. Bob Waring Sr. sets him up out of corner number four. Here he comes with a white flag out. Martin is still second. Then Saturday, Geisler with that broken race car hanging in there in the Cochrane one, then Gary Lyle. Problem in four has this one in his back pocket. For invitational invites himself into the winner's circle in heat race number one. Senior across the line, taking up where he left off last week, taking the win in that second all pro late month. With home in your winner, more Gary Lyle in the 10. Bob Waring Jr. will be starting third of the 17. Lynn Geist will go for the fourth spot in the Cochrane number one. and car number 34 will be starting fifth. John Flinner is scheduled to go outside of him in the G11. Horseman Speedway. Turn number one and two on the outside. Geisler makes it three wide to the back stretch. Waring Jr. working on Blackie Watt for the runner up position. Look out, turn number two. Problem for John Flinner. He's going the wrong way on a one way street. Yeah, the yellow is down. Clock it all the speedway. Danny Schwartzlander also up there in the number three. Riding second. In three and four. Here they come. Chrysler charges down the home straightaway. Your leader. He's down in turn number one and two. We go. Geisler out in front. Ducks right under him with a 79 car. He is Geisler wearing Watt, Saturday, Martin, and Virgin. Bye. 
caution. Yellow is down for the J4 of John Garvin. And we're set to go in corner number three. Lynn Geisler brings him down the home stretch. It is Geisler out in front and a pair of Fords chasing it down the back stretch. Waring Jr. rides second, Barton is now third, and Barton on the inside. Rise to run down Waring. Barton in the second, Waring drops back to third. John Winter is working his way back through the field to the D11. collected in that one and we've got a yellow we'll restart Johnny Garvin thinks he'll be able to restart again but uh, Mr. Invitational Bob Waring as you can see behind me car number one it's uh, sustained severe front end damage he's done for the, in this feature event Nice 
for its control, but Dave Satterley, a strong second. John's winner of the G11 right now is third, and John Garvin having trouble with the J4. Feature winner, Mr. Lynn Geisler in the Cochran, number one. Well, Lynn Geisler, flag to flag. You had it going your way tonight. Everything going your way. You probably could have coasted the law or over the start finish line with the lead you had. Well, uh, car really got hooked up better. We were certainly uh, a little bit slow in the heat race, but uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Friedman people. I know this Butler area, they're, they're the food people, and uh, I know they've had a car out here before. I haven't seen it this year, but uh, I'd like to thank them for supporting uh, the deal here. And uh, I know tomorrow up at uh, Cochrane Pontiac, I'd like to invite everybody to come up. Uh, they've got some antique cars, and uh, Pontiac Club's going to be there. We're going to bring our car up. And uh, I'd like to thank Culverts and uh, Marshall Stamping, some new people we picked up in the last year or so. And uh, I'd like to just keep going. It's really nice. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I know the weather isn't real good, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, picking up your all-pro late model feature. Soldier 6, the final.